hello friends today i'm going to show you how to enable query store for all the databases which query store uh, option was not enabled okay today i'm going to show you how we can develop that option okay uh, if you click new query you know that uh, query store is option is there from sql server 2016 onwards select star from uh, sys dot databases okay if you got execute this query we we got all these queries but we don't require all of this we required only name comma query store is query store on if we click that zero means not enable okay uh, one means enable right okay now see uh, as of now i'm having these many databases right uh, we got uh, we don't want to enable these database uh, on system databases so to filter out we need to filter the databases where data where name in not in master let's see whether it is working or not so previously i am getting 12 records right now 11 records means okay we are getting model msdb and what is that distribution db temp db so i'll put all the quotations for the temp db converted commas and close the bracket and meanwhile differentiate that okay and comma 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 yes done now click execute sorry okay click, click now we got only seven user databases now as of now this is good okay now what how let's see how we can enable the query store for single database right click on the database go to properties and go to query store here we have an option right click on that we need read and write option just script out okay so this is use master all the database paytm and set query store on this these are the things the see these are like everything here same syntax but only the database name get changed here okay that's it okay now what i will do here now i need to build the dynamically right so now i am copying this command okay now i am pasting here so uh, this is should be i am hard coding that alter database name okay yes alter data I, I will just select the mode text mode okay see alter database zero I, I don't require this query store on further anymore okay so now i am concatenate this one so i need to give some space right so this, this one i will give the space yeah now alter demo demo now what i want to do i need to set query store on copy this one here plus hard code it I am hard coding this one okay press execute now see I got the statement what I got here. now see uh, I got I successfully build this stay same testament okay same testament. now I want to build that go okay now what I will do here plus so i need to bring it down there even though i'm i want to hard code it so it will come like this okay 
but I, I don't want to do like that I want to bring it down so I want to break it line line here so you want to break it line we have two characters one is care 10 okay plus char 13 Yeah, now what I want to hear, just copy this one. Uh, copy, I hard coded that. Now I just expand that one. Hard code it. Hard comma plus what is the name now that i want name again i want to build that dynamic name place what is that on set query store operation mode is equal to this thing i need to build dynamically so put in put the inverted commas okay now let's see the, how the syntax build See, okay. Alter days text. Yeah, now we alter database test query store on this one I want to build it Now what I want to do, I want to do the same thing. Now everything is good. Okay, so text query store Alter database name test query store. We are getting the same thing. Good. Everything is good Now this one is Now now everything is good now what I will do I don't want this one set no count on now we got the result now what i will do here i just paste it here click click execute sorry now this one now this is done now what i am going to do here is i'm a new query select star from sysdat databases 
if you click on that and I don't want everything name comma query store on see we have successfully enabled the query store for all the user databases this is how you need to build the query okay to enable or uh, like uh, query store not only query the, store, the uh, I, I just said the logic to enable on the query store you can use the same logic on whatever you want to apply for all the user databases i hope uh, you may like this video thank you bye